Hey, so change of plans. Um, I just decided to get into my truck and paint back here like I've done before. Uh, actually, I've got a really good view of the mountains and why not? Um, I've never done a big canvas in the back. I've done little ones, but this is kind of fun. It works. It's propped up a little bit. I'll get some of the lines in and I'll be out of the wind. I was just getting so windy out there. Um, anyhow, this is what I am doing right there. And I was able to prop this before and figure it out. So maybe I'll try propping this and seeing if you guys can just watch me paint a little inside. Um, let's try that. I think so. I think so. Hi. All right. So yep, I was working on putting in some lines. I'm going to go with some green for now. Um, it's not really at the moment going to put in anything that is related to snow, but I probably will because there's some big snow caps still going on. Um, and just gonna use the palette knife again for a while. I hope you guys can see that, but yeah, so anyhow. Usually I'm using a different color of green than what I've used before. Um, I actually picked up an emerald green the other day. It's kind of nice just to change up my colors a little bit. Um, it doesn't have to stay emerald green because I always mix my colors, so I really like mixing uh, sap green with things. It's a really, it's a really good mixable green as far as like getting the greens that are around here in Montana. Um, and obviously I don't need to do the exact coloring all the time because I don't take the exact picture that's in front of me almost ever. Um, just how I like to paint. Some people like to paint and get the picture that's in front of them. For me, it's not really, I just figure we've got cameras, we can take a picture. So um, I have friends that take fantastic photos and sometimes I do paintings off of those. Um, I've never taken the time to get fantastic at photography. I would thought about it a few times. Um, and I had a really nice camera for a while, and it seemed like that was when my kids were younger, and so it wasn't anything that I ever applied myself fully to, so. So getting back from Washington has been fantastic. I was definitely in need of coming back home, knowing the areas. It is, it's great to go other places and um, I have been in the West a lot of my life and I'm ready to go other places. Um, so, it's not really been to Seattle a few times, but I did some other things there that I hadn't done before, so I got to see some different areas that I had not seen before, which was nice. Um, and I know I showed you guys a few of those videos for sure. But I am happy to be home for a little bit. I know this area well, and... I know how to get 
get around. I tried to find spots and talk to people and all of that. Um, you know, I did make a lot of connections, but most of them don't, they don't really go anywhere outside of the city unless they're, you know, maybe snowboarding or something somewhere. But it's, and you'll see that a lot here too, is um, that people don't even find out where the back roads go all the time. And I'm, I'm very much a back roads person. Um, I want to know where the people that lived here have gone and or live there. So as I travel, I tend to make those sorts of connections, having people show me where to go. Takes a little bit of time though, and I only had about a week and a half that I was over in that area, so. I did get chewed out by a farmer, um, well, an orchardist, which was too bad because I thought I was in an area that, um, really, I paid a lot of attention to the signs and all of that, and I was absolutely sure I was on an access road, but apparently I was on his orchard road, and my aunt and uncle actually lived up there and had orchards there for years and eventually they were just traveling the world so they eventually sold them but same spot and when we would always go on the you know the different orchards up there where there was never a problem with going through the different land and everything so this is a young farmer so he probably just has his ways of doing some things you know and you know, somebody owns land, they own land, and you can't um, access it, obviously, if they're not willing to have you there, so that's okay, I just learned a lesson <laughs> that I get my butt chewed, um, so I'm not careful of exactly where I'm at, but more, more often I take you know, time, and I had actually driven around there for a long time, just checking out different things and making sure that I wasn't going on people's land, um, and I even tried to call, um, there was a, a sign that said that you would call to go on one orchard, and so I tried that number, and they didn't answer, um, so I went off into another area, and I kept looking, and I kept looking, and, um, Nope, when I ended up going on a road, it ended up being somebody's property, so I think he'll forgive me, hopefully. Um, but it's all good. I'm just trying not to get myself shot. I have been shot at before when I was a kid. I'm sure they were just shooting near us, but my brother, sister, and I um, got shot at. We actually got stalked by a grizzly that same day, and we're kind of cutting back home quickly uh, because we wanted to actually get home before the grizzly got us, and we crossed the fence line. It didn't have any property signs, but we crossed the fence line and tried to take a shortcut home because we had seen a grizzly following us and got shot at. <laughs> so I was nine years old back then. My brother was four years older than me, so I mean, he was a little older, so I guess I don't know how it works. It could have been Ted Turner, actually. It, it was really close to his land. I have no idea. I shouldn't blame him. That's not right. I know he does shoot at people around here. I've heard that anyhow, but, um, that's all right. If you own property, it's your right, I guess, around here to warn people off with a gun. Um, yeah, but that night, that grizzly actually, um, tried to get one of my friends out of her bed. I think I might've already told this story, but he had, us. Uh, 
stuck his paw down through her window to try and pull her out of bed, but the window was too small, fortunately, and her bed was right below it. And um, so, yep, I'm I'm not sure what they did with him if they like took him away or what, but um, I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing here. This is kind of fun. I'm getting some fun stuff in. Um, it's nice and warm in my truck. The wind is not bad, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do this video for now because, uh, it's already at past 10 minutes and I don't know how long of one you guys want to watch, but I'm going to throw this one up on YouTube and, um, then I'll keep painting and share the painting when I get done with it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.